And so I think that's kind of the three different groups of people that I see. Um, people who are wanting relationship anarchy but not living it. People who are living it and doing really well at that. And people who are living it and also want the other people around them to have that same freedom and opportunity. What's up everybody, it's Charlie and I'm back. So in this video, I just have one question to ask. What does relationship anarchy mean to you? In my experience, there's three-ish different types of people I have run into who claim the title of relationship anarchists. And I kind of want to talk through those three categories today. So the first one I see is people who want to be relationship anarchists, but who have not actually lived into it. So for example, they may not have read through the Relationship Anarchy Manifesto. They might not believe some of the things on that manifesto or haven't really figured out how to live into them, are still kind of questioning and figuring out exactly what Relationship Anarchy means to them and how to live it in real life. Which brings me to the second category of people that I see, and that's people who have actually experienced being relationship anarchists. People who have been living this life for a while, who may have had multiple relationships in the past, or they have, I don't know, just kind of figured out how they want their relationship anarchy to go and live into that. Those people have the skills, the communication, the time management, um, integrity, courage, and vulnerability, and knowing your personal limits. All of that is so important to be someone who is experienced in living out relationship anarchy. And finally, the people I see last are those who have gone past that initial wanting, have gotten into the actual experience of it, and finally are ready to share that with the rest of their community. Because I've seen people who claim to be relationship anarchists and they're not quite okay with their partners being relationship anarchists or um, the other people around them having the same freedom that they have. And so I think that's kind of the three different groups of people that I see. Um, people who are wanting relationship anarchy but not living it. People who are living it and doing really well at that and people who are living it and also want the other people around them to have that same freedom and opportunity. And I think that those last two in particular are pretty cool. Um, and there's room for the first one too. It's just, it's just I've noticed these different categories and wanted to kind of take some time to make a video about it so you all can reflect and see exactly what relationship anarchy means to you and kind of where you fit on that scale. Um, and if there's anything you can do to change from one to the other. So yeah, that's all I've got for today. I hope this was helpful for all of you. And if not, I'll see you next week. Deuce.